Hello. We would like now to present a practical example of Blue Ocean strategy of Casella Company, that have successfully implemented such strategy when launching their yellow tail wines on the US market in 2000. Historically, in 1957, the Casella family, headed by Filippo Casella and his wife Maria, emigrated from Sicily to Australia for a better life. They create the Casella family brands that is now a family-owned wine company based in Australia. Yellow Tail was developed for the Casella family winery to enter into the bottled wine market, having previously supplied bulk wine to other wineries. Approximately a third of the grapes that are harvested by Yellow Tail are from their vineyard in Riverina, Australia. The rest are from other vineyards in southeastern Australia. All Yellow Tail wines have their own specific label color. In addition to sparkling wines, Yellow Tail makes varietal wine from the grape varieties. Each wine has different colors, for example Merlot is orange, Shiraz is yellow etc. Before entering to the US market, the company made a market research in ocean blue approach. And this is the strategy canvas of the US wine industry, accordingly, the premium wine companies focus on all the competitive factors in the market by placing these ones at a high level. In contrast, the budget wine companies put these competitive factors at a low level. But it is clear that competition in US wine market is clearly divided into two classes, one sets high prices for products by offering high quality products, and the other sets low prices by offering lower quality products. The strategic planners of Casella have a general vision on this potential market by answering questions in the four actions framework, as following. Firstly, the wide range of wines and complicated terms on the packaging have caused many difficulties for consumers to choose. This is a factor that should be eliminated because it does not bring real value to consumers. Secondly, the target customers of US wine firms are those who are well educated and high income, so most of them have a common strategic direction to overcome competitors in the high-end market segment. This way of thinking makes increasing the wine price, because most firms invest strongly in above-the-line marketing campaigns by focusing on vineyard prestige and wine quality, as well as by increasing wine complexity. These are the factors that Casella decides to reduce. Thirdly, the company raises factors of retail store involvement and partner cooperation. The selling price is also a factor raised. The price at that time was $6.55 per bottle, but experts say it is of equal quality to a wine priced at $60 to $70. Meanwhile, the budget wine costs $2 to $3 per bottle but the quality is not high. High-class wine with prices from $200 to $1,000 per bottle is only suitable for the upper class. Fourthly, the company focuses on blowing soul into the products through the logo and slogan, the essence of a great land is Australia. When realizing that the consumption of wine is only one third of the one of other alcoholic beverages such as brandies, beer, and ready-to-drink cocktails because of their ease of drinking, the company has created a new flavor for wine, new fruit flavor, gentle flavor, fresh breath, and no alcohol smell. After completing the questions in the four actions framework, strategic managers at Casella proceed to fill in the network model with answers. Firstly, the company needs to eliminate enological terminology and distinctions, aging qualities, and above-the-line marketing. Secondly, the company needs to reduce wine complexity, wine range, and vineyard prestige. Thirdly, the company needs to raise price versus budget wines and retail store involvement. Fourthly, the company needs to create easy drinking, ease of selection, and fun, and adventure to customers. By studying the market in Blue Ocean approach, Casella chose the first and fifth way to reconstruct market boundaries. To reconstruct market boundaries, the company has looked across alternative industries and found its own Blue Ocean. The company has found the basic factor that makes customers choose alternative drinks rather than wine, thereby concocting a different product from others in the market, wine with cocktail flavor. Also, 
the company cleverly applies to look across functional or emotional appeal to buyers. Instead of adding functionality to products, they have blown soul into the product to attract consumers. This is clearly shown in the advertising logo, slogan, and simple labels that do not print the blending terms but a picture of a prominent yellow kangaroo on a black background that impresses Australia. At that time, Yellowtail was the first wine product to put an image of an animal on the label. And to reach beyond existing demand, target customers of Yellowtail are completely different from other wine companies. They are not only those who consume wine, the first class, but also the second class who drink beer and soft drinks such as cocktail, and the third class who do not drink alcoholic beverages. They are those who use alternative alcoholic beverages such as beer, ready to drink cocktails, and those who have not previously consumed alcoholic beverages. Because Yellowtail wine has a light flavor and easy to drink like ready-made cocktails and beer, but also the company has a wine and fruity taste, it is easy to attract the second class of beer and cocktail lovers. This product even attracts the third class including people who have not used alcoholic beverages because of its unique flavor. We terminate here the video. Sincerely thanks for your attention. And see you again in our next videos.